Welcome back, dear viewers. Thank you for staying with us here on Nile Cruise. And you know what? Promoting Egypt's destination by Egyptian banknotes is actually a very interesting um, uh, area that um, uh, is being worked upon. Egyptian pounds uh, first came into existence as a result of a medieval decree in 1834 replacing the piaster, the first banknote printed by the National Bank of Egypt, now the Central Bank of Egypt, was in 1899. 1899. The first pound banknote featured a camel and an inscription in classical Arabic that translates to, I vow to pay upon request the amount of one Egyptian pound to its bearer. This bond was written on the date of the 25th of June, 1898. Now, uh, all the coins and banknotes feature famous landmarks from Egypt's history, specifically its pharaonic and Islamic um, uh, monuments. The, the notes showcase a famous historic Islamic landmark, such as the Ibn Tulun Mosque or the um, Muhammad Ali Mosque on one side and a pharaonic landmark as an icon on the other, such as the Sphinx and the Tutankhamun. And the notes also feature some Arabic inscriptions and are bilingual. Our dear guest uh, uh, here in this uh, segment is Mr. Mohammed Zainuddin, Egyptologist, who decided to explore the Egyptian civilization via its currency. Very interesting uh, exploration, allow me to say, uh, Mr. Zainuddin. First of all, thank you for joining us. I know that this is uh, your area of expertise, so I want to give you the mic and tell us about you know, the chronology of uh, Egyptian banknotes, the Egyptian currency. Uh, it's always a pleasure to be a guest here with you. Thank you, sir. Uh, so if we are going to talk about the banknotes, I brought with me some banknotes, like last time. So, but unfortunately, I don't have the 25 piaster banknote. So okay. we will start with the 50 piaster. With the 50 piaster we have here, we have uh, El Azhar Mosque, which is about 1,100 years old. And on the back of it, we have Ramesses II, okay? And it's uh, El Azhar Mosque, it's located in the center of Old Cairo, or what we call Islamic Cairo, uh, or the Historic Cairo, as the uh, Ministry of Antiquities is establishing a project called uh, Historic Cairo Project, and it's supposed to revive the routes that we have in Islamic Cairo and also Khedive Cairo in downtown. The second banknote we have right now, we have the one the pound. pound one pound, which it has uh, Al Sultan Al Ashraf Abu Nasr Qaid Bay, one of the great Mamluk Sultans. It's about 550 years old. And this mosque, it's like one of the, one of the great mosques that was built during the era of the Mamluks. And also it's located in the city of the dead or Cairo Necropolis, which is one of the main destinations for some of the unusual tourists who comes to Egypt they would like to visit this place to go or to walk around City of the Dead or Cairo Necropolis. On the back of it, we have the amazing Abu Simbel, which is established by Ramesses II or Ramesses the Great. He built it, he built two, uh, two temples in Abu Simbel. One is the great uh, temple, the one is depicted on the one pound, and the other one is a small temple, which he depicted it or he built it only for his beloved wife, Nefertari, or the most beautiful lady as we translate it from... Which one of the two is this? This one is the great one. Okay. The great one. Okay. We move to the next uh, banknote, which is the five pound. We have the oldest mosque that is still intact in all Egypt, and it's still the biggest mosque in all of them, which is Ahmed ibn Tulun Mosque. Uh, it's about 1,120 years old. It's almost this age. Yeah. And in the beautiful back, mosque, beautiful mosque. It's amazing mosque. And it's the only mosque has the spinning minaret. We call it the spinning minaret because it has the outer case, uh, the case itself, uh, the staircase, it's outside the minaret itself. And it's the only mosque, it has about 42 gates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over 42 gates. And there is a story about Ibn Tulun himself. When he wanted to build this mosque, he said, I want a mosque to be built from a halal money or from a good money that if Egypt is flooded, it's not going to be affected by the flood. And if Egypt is set on fire, it's not going to be set on fire. 
So he built it out of mud bricks or red bricks, which is going to be like to, to stand against fire and it's going to be hardened. Do we know how many people can the mosque have at, uh, at the same time? I, I don't know, uh, but I know the capacity of the mosque itself as a space. It's about uh, six acres. And it took from Ibn Tulon himself about three years to establish it, which is amazing. It's a it's very short to time. to say that it would take tens of thousands? It's uh, easy to say that? Tens of thousands, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Maybe, let's say let, about 50,000, at least, at least. And it's still the biggest one in all Egypt until yes. now. Yes. The next one, which is the amazing one, a Rifai Mosque. Uh, it's located nearby Saida Zainab. Yeah. Uh, nearby Saida Zainab and also nearby uh, uh, Cairo Citadel. Okay? Yeah. So to make it easy for any person who would like to go. Now we have one of the two great mosques of Cairo, which is Rifai Mosque. It's depicted on the 10 Egyptian pounds. It was built or commissioned to be built by Khushyar Hanim, which was uh, the, mother, uh, the mother of Khedev Ismail, the one who made uh, downtown or Khedev Cairo. And he finished it for his mother. And who is buried there? We have King Fuad the first, or Ahmed Fuad the first, the father of Farouk, and also the last Sultan of Egypt. Also, we have King Farouk the first is buried there. We have Sultan Hussein Kamil, uh, Sultan Hussein Kamil, who ruled Egypt between for, uh, 1914 until 1917. Also, we have Khedive Ismail, three of his wives and his mother. The mosque itself, it's like a museum inside. You would enjoy your visit to the museum. In the back of the banknote, we, ha we have Kha Ifriya, or as the Egyptians call him, Khafra, yeah. or Chafrin, which is the builder of the second pyramid of the three great pyramids in Giza. Where is it located? It's located in El Khalifa, nearby, uh, it, in the back of uh, Cairo Citadel. Okay. In front of it, I will move to the one in front of it quickly, okay. which is... The 100 pounds. The 100 we'll pounds. We'll be back to the 20 and the 50 later. Sure, okay. sure. We have here Sultan Hassan Mosque and Madrasa, or Madrasa and Mosque, which we can consider it one of the first universities in all the world. It's about 650 years old, and it was established by a commission of Sultan Hassan. And one of his quotes about this uh, complex that if the people of Egypt, they are not going to say that the Sultan started something and never finished it, I would abandon finishing this school because of what I spent on it. Can you imagine how much did he spend on it every day? About 3,000 dinar, which is a golden coin for three years. Gold coins? Gold coins for three years without stopping. And the school itself, it's never finished. It's never completed. How we know that? Because it's only the construction and the decoration of the school itself, it's never finished. It could host about 400 students to house them. It has a dormitory for them. It has a hospital and it has also a great mosque. In it's a university by itself. Yeah. Yes, and the students inside the school or inside the uh, Sultan Hassan Madrasa, uh, it's like, let's say, as we call it right now in our nowadays, we call it a uh, scholarship. They pay nothing at all. On the back of it, we have the Sphinx, the Sphinx. which is in front of the three great pyramids of Giza. Where is uh, Sultan Hassan located? It's located in front of Citadel, in front of uh, Rifai Mosque, in front of uh, El Khalifa Police Station, to make yeah. it easy. We go back to the 20? Yeah, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So if you stand between the two great mosques, Sultan Hassan and Rifai, and you look in front of you, you will see right away the Alabaster Mosque or Gama al Marmar. Uh, the mosque that was built by Muhammad Ali, and he wanted to be the only one who was buried inside it. And he's all, he's only, the only one is buried inside it. There is like uh, a compartment only for Muhammad Ali to be buried inside it. It's located in the center of the citadel, and for so long, uh, since, it's, uh, since he finished it, it became the highest mosque in all Cairo. Before it, we had uh, Sultan and Nasser Muhammad ibn Kalawun Mosque in the citadel, the one that was the, grid, was, uh, the green dome. But after Muhammad Ali finished this mosque, it became the highest mosque in all Cairo. Yeah. In the back of it, we have the chariot. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. We move to the next one. The 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. We have Abu Hreba Mosque, mm -hmm. or as the people of the Darb al Ahmar district, they call it Abu Hreba Mosque, or Sidi Abu Hreba Mosque, or Gama Sidi Abu Hreba. But the founder of the mosque, his name is Kajmas al Ishaq, one of the Mamluks of the Sultan al Ashraf Abu Nasr Qaid Bay. The, this is close to where we are here at the Museum of Islamic Art, isn't it's, it? It's uh, a walking distance from yeah, here. Yeah. Uh, let's say it's about seven to ten minutes walk yeah. at most. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, on the back of it, we have Edfu Temple, mm. the Temple of Horus. Mm. Okay. Mm. We, uh, uh, as we mentioned, this one is located in Darb al Ahmar. It's yeah. a walking distance from uh, from uh, the Museum of Islamic Art, as we are yeah. in the Museum of Islamic Art. Yeah. We move to the next one, which is the 200 banknotes. It's even located in front of Sultan Hassan, located in front of Rifai, and it's between Sultan Hassan and Rifai and uh, Muhammad Ali Mosque. It has Qanibay Ramah Amir Akhur. He was one of the Mamluks of Sultan Al Ashraf Abu Nasr Qaid Bay, and his title, Amir Akhur, he was the one who's responsible for the royal stables of the Sultan. So let's say he was uh, responsible for the bread of the Sultan, for what is the Sultan is going to ride in any kind of bread he's going to have. On the back of it, we have the Egyptian scribe, which is located right now in the Egyptian museum. And back to the 10 pounds, the 10 pounds, the head of, of Ha Efre, it's, it's a full statue of, of like a natural body. It's located also in the Egyptian Museum in Tahrir Square. Okay, this that, that or do we still have coins? Uh, we still have coins, but uh, I didn't bring it with me today. Okay, so <laughs> talk to us about the coins. Uh, the coins. Uh, we used to have uh, the 20 piaster and the 10 piaster. Both of them used to have uh, Muhammad Ali Mosque, which is located in the citadel. Uh, the five piaster, the one that uh, has like the, uh, the copper color or like golden color. It used to have uh, uh, pyramids of Giza, and there was a five piaster. It used to have uh, a chandelier, or what we call in Arabic, mishke. It used to have that. Uh, the 25 piaster, which it had nothing, uh, the coin one. We used to have a 25 piaster, which it had uh, as a banknote. It used to have the Renaissance uh, uh, statue, which was made by Mahmoud Mukhtar, the Egyptian sculpturer. Uh, and it was when they like when they uh, opened it or made the inauguration for it for the first time. It was located in front of Cairo railway station. But after uh, the coup or the revolution of uh, 1952, they moved it to its location, which is uh, Nahdit Masr Square, and they replaced it with uh, the statue of Ramesses II, which. We moved it about 10 years ago to the Grand Egyptian Museum, or what we call it, gym. Yeah. We used to have uh, a, a, one, a one piaster coin and, and the malims or the cents. Uh, I'm not sure if, uh, um, if, if you can you know, uh, um, remember exactly what was We had the penny, yeah. the penny which we, as the Egyptians, called it Nekla. Yeah. Okay. Uh, some of it had uh, depicting the face of uh, Sultan Hussein Kamil. Uh, some others uh, depicted uh, Sultan Ahmed Fuad the first or King Fuad the first, and some of them used to have King Farouk the first. So, uh, uh, some of the Egyptian calls it Al Malim Al Ahmar, the Red Malim. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I mean, uh, you're such um, an expert in this field. Uh, now, you. if we move. If, it, you know, at, at, at any stage we move to uh, plastic money or we, 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 we let go of the papers, mm -hmm. we were, of course it's more healthy uh, and of course digitalization is, is taking over everything, mm -hmm. uh, we will miss these banknotes. Do you think this will happen eventually sooner or later? And if, it, if this happens, how can we preserve again our um, uh, uh, historic, our history, and our great symbols in our um, money. I'm not sure what they are going to depict on the new banknotes, uh, but I hope they are going to add maybe some new characters 
such as some of the famous Egyptians who got the Nobel Prize, such as Dr. Zouel, uh, President, uh, former uh, yeah. President Sadat. Uh, so why not? Yeah. Uh, maybe we have some characters, uh, great characters. Maybe Dr. Ya uh, Sir Magdi Yaqub. Yeah. It would be amazing yeah. uh, as uh, a way to honor them and yeah. to give them some of what they 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 should have great from ideas. from their country. Yeah. Uh, uh, on but, the but other we're way, miss, we're going to miss what's in the banknotes. Uh, I'm not if sure if happens. they are going to uh, yeah. to uh, raise it, totally. or abandon I mean, it, or going, they are going, going to yeah. add something yeah. else, or maybe yeah. we we are going to have new other banknotes or uh, other uh, yeah. uh, other uh, other uh, banknotes such as maybe 500 or yeah, 1,000. 1, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. why not? Yeah. Yeah. Because it was a dream to have the 200 yeah, and to true. have the 50 pounds. True. We had the 100, for example. There is, uh, uh, there is a portrait here in the museum, in the Museum of Islamic Art, uh, depicting a 100 since the time of President Sadat in 1979. Okay? While we started to have the 50 Egyptian pounds banknote in the 90s. Yeah. And the 200 banknotes, we started to have it. You know, after I remember the, the 10 pounds when I was young. It was such a big it and was, huge. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and we used to have some other monuments depicted yeah. on the banknotes. Yeah. For example, uh, if we are talking about the five piaster, we used to have the head of Nefertiti. Mm. The beautiful one is coming if we translate her name, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. But we don't have Nefertiti in Egypt, unfortunately. Yeah. unfortunately. We hope it comes back. Yes, so hopefully, inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Uh, unfortunately, dear viewers, that's all the time we have. Uh, uh, um, we thank on behalf of you very much, Mr. Muhammad Zain, uh, Zain Dean, Egyptologist. Always a joy, really. And <laughs> Always fun. a pleasure to be here. Sir. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you. Please stay with Niall Cruz. We'll be back.